Hi y'all, it's Jessica and thank you guys for coming back to my channel. So let's go ahead and start our 100 baby man challenge. Hey guys, so of course we're starting back with our 100 baby man challenge today. I am so excited. It has been a hot minute since we've been here. It's been quite a while since I've actually filmed in this household and it was so weird coming back, but I'm so glad. So let me just tell you a little bit about everything because there is a lot to happen today. So today it is Roberto's birthday and he's going to be turning into an adult. We did leave off the challenge last time with 44 kids so that is crazy i really don't want to try to like i don't want to procreate any more kids in this episode i do kind of like want it to be kind of like a nice family reunion birthday because it is roberto's birthday like i said already and then tomorrow it's supposed to be Derek ryder's birthday who is bella goff's son so i actually thought about throwing a birthday party tonight around five o'clock and we will have it be Roberto's and we will have it actually be Derek's birthday as well. He is an A student so if I followed the actual guidelines then obviously I could age him up to a teenager and when we go into a uh, build mode or cast mode <laughs> when we go into cast and give him a makeover I am going to change his last name back to Goth just so that, that way I can remember and then I'm going to change these two's last names to Langrab because that was Nancy Langrab's kids and we have got so much kids on here it is insane I have already invited all the kids to the party the one thing bad is is that we do have some babies we have probably seven babies one two three four five six seven eight oh we actually got a lot more kids or a lot more babies than I thought we did. So obviously they will not be coming to the party, which totally stinks because I really wanted like everybody to, we're finally going to get like all the kids together that possibly can get together. And I just think it'll be pretty exciting. What are you doing? You got to go pee? Oh my gosh, go pee. Like I told you to go pee before we started this, but you know, you don't listen. Mm. Oh my gosh. And Derek has actually entered into the picky eater phase, which is going to be very exciting for his birthday. Yeah, it's going to be kind of fun. Um, we literally got 30 minutes before the kids head off to school. So I thought about having them use the bathroom and then hopping back to bed and then they could take over the hunger at school. That way we don't have to deal with that nonsense. If you are new to my channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. It does just help our little village to grow. And make sure you hit that bell. It just sends you notifications so that you never miss one of my uploads and make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up so there they all off they're off to school have a good day guys and we are getting a phone call did you hear about what happened on the news no what happened on the news i wish i would tell you like how are you gonna leave me like that okay but anywho apparently everybody's off jasmine's off everybody's off to school today where are you at you're still sleeping get up and go to work go to school he's out here in the rain oh my gosh out here in the rain crying his ass out because where his belated wife passed away. So he's just gonna go outside, I guess, and eat in the rain, which that's fine, go ahead. How many days do we have of this anyways? Oh, I only got 15 hours, that's not too bad. Everybody's aging up, we're gonna be aging up here soon too as well. I'm gonna have him go ahead and take care of himself a little bit today. And I'm probably gonna have him come out here and like cry it out a bunch of times just so that we can get rid of the sad buff so that way it doesn't interfere with our plans for the lovely, nice family reunion. And since he is feeling so sad, I am going to have him come over here and do a sad vlog for a little bit because he still has the sadness for 10 hours. So why not make it into a nice little chuck of change? Emotional meltdown. Okay, he's not doing what I'm telling him to do. Oh my gosh. Can people stop calling us now? That, that would be awesome. Record video. Oh, now you're confident? What the heck happened? Like, literally, you were still going to be sad. Oh, my gosh, it's gone. Wow, okay. That's, like, so weird. All right, we'll do a confident vlog then. Oh, my gosh. I just had him go ahead and upload that video, and now we are a global, global superstar. Wow, I can't believe that we actually did it. That was, like, one of the things that I wanted to do, and we made it. Now he can actually go and put in his celebrity tile whoa i can't believe we did that and before he turned into a young adult i think that's like super fantastic so let's go and see what we can do here Bert will be able to use a computer to launch and maintain his own personal brand which can become a reliable source of daily revenue 
Be sure to keep the product lineup fresh as income will slow to trinkle if his brand doesn't stay relevant with his target audience. He can now enthuse about the brand with others and may spot Sims out about discussing his brand. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Speaking of things, do we have anything that we can actually spend on? Like, is there anything that we can get that would be even better for us? He's frugal. Ooh, we can get reduced household bills. Yes, we need to get that. Like, that's amazing. Why didn't we get that sooner? All right, let's actually go down here and let's fix us a cake. What kind of cake do we want to make? Probably a blue confetti cake. I can totally see them doing that, making a pretty blue confetti cake. The kids should be home. Oh, there they are. Okay, Nico's grades are up. Bruno is satisfactory. Princess is satisfactory. Chase is not doing well. Derek is in range for responsibility. Oh, that's good. Too bad you're not being a teenager. All right, let's get you all taken care of. What do you guys need to do? Most of you guys just need to take a nap because I want you guys to be really good and taken care of so that whenever we go to this party, you guys will feel amazing. Okay, and we do, he wants to cook some pancakes. Oh goodness, we actually need to get the weather machine because it's raining right now. And I'm not having them have a rainy day, especially when I fix the place up that they're staying at. Well, actually I didn't really like I found it on the gallery, but I, like, I fixed it up from there, so I'm not going to take like all the credit for that because whoever did that, they did an amazing job, and I'm definitely not taking that away from them. Oh, crap. Okay. Shoot. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to buy it at the place and <laughs> make it pretty there. All right. So let's go ahead and pop into here real quick so that I can get the weather machine because we didn't get to do it there, and it is light rain. So we are changing that to clear skies. Can you stop reacting in disgust, please? Like seriously, everything is not gonna be perfect for you. All right, go fix our weather for us so we can actually have a nice weather today. There we go, we got clear skies. Gonna be coming our way. We got some kids that are coming to us that definitely need some makeovers happening probably very soon. <laughs> Let's go over here and order a happy hour drink. Um, let's get a sweet and spicy for him. So we say like all of our kids should be here. I don't know where all of them are because we had like 30 something. Oh, there's some more coming. Yay! We probably should have invited some more women, but honestly, I couldn't remember which women that he's been with and which one he hasn't been with. So I just decided to let this just be kind of like a family event. And let's have him actually go serve some dinner. So I can't remember if I, I don't think I did a caterer or not. So let's do some pasta, preravera. Actually, let's not. Let's hire somebody. There it is, hire staff. Let's hire a caterer. Oh my gosh, look at all of our little kids are just over here talking together. Oh, we got a phone call. Hey Roberto, Eliza Pancakes here. Guess what, I just had triplets. Bryant, Jody, and Forrest are all doing well. Is that like all boys? Does she just like have all boys? That's crazy. Wow, I can't believe that. That put us up to 47 kids. Wow, that is insane. Like seriously, what if he has just three more kids and we're at 50 before he even turns into an adult? That would be amazing, actually. Oh my gosh. Oh, we had another little kid aged up to a toddler. He could have came to the party. We do need to do our birthday candles and everything because I think our cake is about to run out. I did hire a caterer, but I don't see anybody coming. It's very unfortunate. All right, so let's go ahead and get our cake out because everybody's like getting hungry because nobody is coming. We hired the caterer, but I don't know where she's at. So obviously we're just gonna go ahead and blow out the candles and we're gonna age up today. All right, Roberto, happy birthday. Gonna be aging like fine wine. Yeah, buddy, aged up. Oh my gosh. Jared has sent Roberto a gift in the mail. Star sent him a gift. Rihanna sent him a gift. Diana sent him a gift. Oh my gosh. All of our kids have sent him gifts. Holy cruddy. That's a lot. Okay, so go ahead and add birthday cakes back to that real quick. And then we're going to actually have Derek, who's actually getting napping in the hot tub. He needs to come out and blow the hot, uh, candles as well. And then he can go use the bathroom. All right, happy birthday, my little bean. And obviously you're sick, that's not good. Yay, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Derek. Okay, you are an insider and now you are a true master. 
He not only excels at mental control powers, but they also have a greater stories of vampire energy. Uh, no, you're not a vampire. You're a survivalist. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes you are. You are a true definition of a survivalist because if you guys didn't see like the first beginning of this, like literally Derek was by himself taking care of himself. I mean, he was an amazing. So definitely that location for him. And he is city native, so I'm just going to put him as city native. I think that would be good for him. Bella sent him a gift. He is a notable newcomer now, which is so funny. So, and I bet our mixologist isn't even here. That's great. Make a drink. Can we get him, like, some orange juice? How can we get or do some orange juice from here? Hmm. Okay, well, how about you just do a root beer float? Oh, and then we get a call to meal. Oh, yes, help yourself, kids. I totally forgot. Why don't you guys come and get you all some cake? Oh my gosh, and our kid is over here, like, literally making a mess. Per usual, come get some cake, guys. There you guys go. Have Sims dance at the same time. We can definitely do that as well if we had somebody that was doing the thing. So how about we hire a professionalist to come, hopefully, and do that as well. Our caterer never came, so honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if nobody else comes, too. Look at this little family dancing over here. Get it. Have an adult make a toast. Hmm. I think he has to have a drink in hand to make a toast. Pose for pictures? What's that? What's pose for pictures? Oh my gosh, that's him posing for pictures? Oh my goodness. Dude, that's too much. Like, really? Like, seriously, if that kid wasn't bald in the background, like, I would just have this be, like, the thumbnail. <laughs> we got some baldies down here, too, so. Okay. <laughs> so funny. So how about you actually go and make a drink. Uh, let's do another sweet and spicy. And then maybe you can make a toast. I think that was an amazing birthday party. All right, he's got his drink. So we're gonna put, give you a drink there. Let's see, can I make a toast now? Oh well, I don't know how we make a toast. But our kids are still over here just having an amazing time. Our DJ person never did show up. That's very comical. Is this our son? Oh my gosh, it is and he's wearing our outfit. Like, that's too much. You can't be wearing our outfit, okay? Oh, lordy day. Such a hot mess. All right, well, it is uh, almost 3 o'clock in the morning, and he stays. He's had a little few too many to drink. So, yeah, we're going to definitely end this party. You guys can go on home. We got a nice reward for that, so that's really good. So, see you guys. Go home, please. Oh, now look. Our mixologist showed up. Oh, and now other people are showing up, too. That's so funny. Oh gosh, what's going on now? He's a flirty drunk. Uh-oh. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh, we got a toddler over here sleeping. What's going on? Who are you? You're actually a young adult. Have we had a kid with you before, Sophia? Burr, her GGGs? No, we haven't. We have not had a kid with you. You don't have any children. Um, I know I said I wanted to keep this pretty PG, but, you know, he's pretty flirty drunk right now. Drunk woohoo. Uh, I definitely think that's gonna happen, because he's a, you know, I don't, don't want to say it like that, but obviously he's a celebrity and she's a fan. He's feeling kind of drunk, so he is probably gonna have some flirty woohoo. She seems pretty excited about it. Oh, and there's another mixologist, probably the one that we hired that, oh, no, it's paparazzi. Oh, and then there's our DJ booth that never did come. Um, our kids are supposed to be going to home, but obviously they're not. Oh my gosh, go home, kids. Oh my gosh, this music is cracking me up. He's definitely playing some Nelly. Sounds like he's playing like it's getting hot in here or something. I wonder if I can turn it up so you guys can listen to it. Cause it is hilarious. I'm sure you guys have heard it though, but... Oh my gosh, so what's this? Drunk Risky Woohoo. Again? Oh my goodness. Apparently he just can't help himself. Like, he's just... That kind of person I guess even with a little bit of drinks in him like it's still gonna happen so oh my gosh everybody's wearing our outfits like this is getting so confusing like literally I think this is why he is so lucky the way that he is is because he literally has us that he copies our look off of and that's how he gets like all these women in his town pregnant or married alrighty I wonder if there's anybody else now I know we did have a baby with candy yeah, she actually did have one bibbit, and it was ours. Okay, but he is pretty exhausted. I do think it's time for him to go on home. So I am going to have him leave and go home today. Maybe tomorrow we can come back out and do some more stuff. 
because I would like him to meet some new people. We do need to go out there and meet new people because uh, we have none. We literally have all the women that's in there. Like, I don't know if he's had interest with them or not. So we'll go find out. We literally had this person like follow us home. Uh, Lexi. I'm sorry, honey, but uh, even with his adult age, he's still the same type of man that he's always been. Oh, when she ran away, like she ran away with her little umbrella. She's gone. She's like, nope, ain't being no part of that. Bye. Yep, she totally rejected us. She's like, nope. Let her say, nope, I should be going now. Bye, Felicia. She said she didn't want that to be any part of the baby train. Not with Roberto. And the kids literally have an hour until they need to go to school. So that's hilarious. Oh my gosh, I feel so, so sorry for my kids that I kept them out all night long. <laughs> and our phone's ringing. Hey, Roberto, Becca here. I wanted you to know that I had Elisa, a beautiful baby girl. Okay, that's awesome. We literally are up to 48 kids now. So that's great. We are almost halfway done with this challenge. We're at 48 kids. Wow. That's his first kid in his adulthood. So literally he had 47 kids in his young adulthood. And now we have actually started on the adult. So wow, that is going to be crazy. Oh my gosh. And he doesn't have school today because he aged up to a teenager, I guess, like at a weird time. Oh my gosh. And what do you have on? Oh my gosh, you got a necklace. Okay, I can't do this right now. Like, I want to have to go into Cass and make him up because I need to take that necklace off. So here is Derek Goth. Let me change his last name real quick. This is obviously Bella Goth's son. And oh my gosh, look, she de he definitely has Bella Goth's nose. Uh, I can't tell who lips he has. I don't remember Roberto's being that. Oh yeah, you got Roberto's lips. You got Roberto's lips, Bella Goth's nose, probably even his eyes. Definitely can see Bella Goth in you though, more I think so than Roberto, but you don't look too bad. Oh, I definitely should have put some skin details on you, but I didn't do all that, so. Here he is, our first teenager. All right, so he does need to go use the bathroom and do all that fun stuff. And then we need to figure out what school, what's school? We need to figure out what skill to get him up to level three. So his dancing is already a level one, but he is a survival, survivalist. So I think I'm actually gonna have him come down here and watch some cooking channel because I do feel like he should probably take that up and be a little bit more of the cooker around the house, especially since, oh, we got more kids. We got more kids aging up to being children now. That's so exciting. I love that. Oh my gosh. Hey, Roberto. Jalen here. I wanted to let you know I just had Marco, a beautiful baby boy. Wow. Okay. That brings us up to 49 kids. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty crazy. We are moving right along. <laughs> It'd be so funny if in this episode we literally hit 50. Like, I guarantee we probably will. Oh my gosh. Hey, Roberto. Luna here. I just want to let you know that I just had Kara, a beautiful baby girl. Oh my gosh. That's it. That's 50. Wow. We did, we hit 50 kids. We're halfway through this challenge now. Seriously, if this would have been like uh, the 50 baby challenge, like we would have been here by now. This is crazy. I think this was all the people that we had. Oh yeah. These were all the girls that we had at Judith Ward's like birthday party. I think that's what it was. I can't remember who's next. But I definitely do think that he should have a makeover because I do think like going into your adulthood that you probably shouldn't look like your son who is literally right next to you. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to give him a makeover before this challenge is over or before this episode is over. You know, because, you know, he's an adult. He needs to look the part now. Now he needs to like to lose the cool vibe and kind of go into the other vibe that he's going to go in for. But I do want him to probably travel because he does need to go and find some new ladies, obviously. So we are going to go to the Stargazer Lounge and just see what's happening up here. Alrighty, we have arrived at the Stargazer Lounge. I don't think anybody has come to this place yet. Ooh, but we do have somebody coming up here. We have a proper celebrity up here. I don't think we had any relations with you yet either. Hope you have no children whatsoever. Who are you? You are looking really cute too. This is Courtney. She's cute. She has no kids as well. Well, 
guess what, Courtney? You're getting ready to be having some children. So we're going to do an enchanting introduction with her. Drop them rose petals all over you. Like, we're getting ready to meet you. Oh, Alicia Belita has aged up to a teen. Oh, these are all of our kids. Yay, we got teenagers now. Oh, wow, we had a bunch of kids of ours just age up to teenagers now. Oh, wow, we can already have our first kiss. Like, that's insane. And it's all because of the enchanting introduction. That's intense. We can do a pickup line, confession, attraction to her and everything. So maybe like in while he's going into like his an adulthood, maybe he's just like, I don't have no time for all this stuff. Like, let's just get down to business. Like, let's get over the smooth talk, get over the hello, how are you, how's your day stuff, and let's just get right to it. So he's going to offer her a rose. Okay, wow. We got some other kids that are aging up to children now. This is amazing. Like, we got a lot of kids that are aging up. So I was thinking the only thing that that is bad about this little area that we're at is that I don't think there's anywhere to do the OD at. So if we, if we wanted to, obviously we're not going to be able to because there's no place in here to procreate and have any kids unless I put a place in, which honestly I don't think I probably could because everything that's in here has like a cute little place. You know what? Let's move some stuff around. All right, there he goes. He's giving her a nice little rose. Somebody said this is a very awkward encounter because obviously they're in our conversation. So he needs to get out of our conversation, Mr. Paparazzi Man, so that way we can schmooze Miss Courtney. No, we're not going to be a low orbit specialist person. No, thank you. Oh, where are you guys going? Where are you going, Roberto? Oh, are you going to go into the sauna that just magically appeared out of nowhere? Okay. Can you please stop calling us? <laughs> oh, let's try it. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Screw the sauna. It's not working. We're just going to get a bush. Just get an old-fashioned good old bush. Never fails me. Just get a nasty old bush. We'll get two just in case. There, you go. there we go. Try for baby with Courtney. Yes. Maybe now we can finally do the old deed. New cork, no touching. Oh, that's fabulous. Love that cork. Who are you? Can you stop for a second? <laughs> However you say that name, I have no idea. Are you even like trying for a baby? I don't think you're doing it. Have you lost your mojo? Because you're not even doing it anymore. There, finally. You know, being in his old age, he might have to take like a little blue pill. Maybe that was his problem. Oh my gosh, Elphobia has aged up to an elder. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Okay, I did see Holly. Holly, have we ever had a baby with you? No, we haven't. Oh wow, but we have met you though, so that's a good start. So how about we just come over here and we offer you a rose, do a little pickup line, you know how we do, flirt. We could ask our compliment our parents, say, man, you're looking really good in those shorts tonight. Everybody's walking in all rainy. It's so gross. And we're getting poppy rotsy fied like crazy. There we go. They already had their first kiss. And we got some negative vibes going on because apparently, you know, one of our women's is just here. Oh my gosh, can you quit? We're trying to make babies. We're trying to have 100 babies here. Risky hookup. There you go. Okay, um, so either she disappeared or <laughs> I don't know where she went to. But apparently she's not in the bush. So I guess she left. I guess she bolted as well. So that's very interesting. I don't even see her anymore. Um, but we did remember when we tried to get with Kayla. And she like totally ignored us like crazy. So I do think I'm. he's going to definitely try this time around. Oh my gosh. He maxed out his skills to level 10 in charisma. That is insane. Oh, and there's a lot of pancakes. Oh my gosh, and there are you wearing our outfit. Oh, that's our son. That's our son, Caden Pizzazz. I think that was our literally our first kid that we had. We learned that Kayla's active. That's cool. Ask if she's had some woohoo. All right, so now, hopefully, this one doesn't, like, leave us. Because our other one did. I don't even remember her name. Oh, gosh. No, didn't even happen. Okay, try for baby with Kayla. There you go. Okay, so apparently we need to go home and try all this because we're like failing miserably here. 
Because all the women are just like, yeah, I ain't going out there in the rain. You're crazy. And all these paparazzi people. So we're going to go home and just invite them over. All right. It was Holly. So Holly Alto was the first one that we tried to do this stuff with. And it didn't go so well. So we're actually going to try it here on our lot. We do have the ley line tray on our lot. So hopefully that helps out a little bit more as well. Because obviously the other places don't have that. Oh my gosh, you're going right there in the kids room. Okay, dude, you waste no time. See ya. Thank you for coming over. I got another person I got to call. So, all right. So go ahead and get up. Uh, ask her to leave. Let's see. Ask to leave. There we go. And then we will obviously get our another person over. Holly is gone. And Kayla just showed up to our house. So that's good. So obviously we're going to do the old funness with her as well. I think maybe he's worse in his old age. I definitely think that old age has gotten him. He's definitely um, a little bit more plump in his old age now too, so that's actually kind of funny as well. Oh my gosh, we got a dirty sink over here. Let's just replace that. Adios, Kayla. Adios. All right, get up, sir. What do you want to do? Hot tub woohoo. Really? Okay, good grief. Go ahead. Have your little hot tub woohoo. Oh my goodness. Okay, where's it at? Where can we do the hot tub woohoo so we can get his little points? Woohoo and hot tub. <laughs> oh. Unable to do it while Kayla's pregnant. Okay, well that's great. Can't do your hot tub boohoo. Oh look, Derek is out here actually making food. How sweet is he? Those look like nasty old tofu dogs or something. That's so gross. But I do think I'm going to end this off right here. Thank you guys just so much for watching and, and taking the time out of your day to be here. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. And if you haven't already, make sure you do hit the subscribe button. It does just help our little village to grow. And I will see you next time. Love you so much. Bye. Mwah.